Congratulations, Elder, on that, that heat win. Was that, was that quite a straightforward race for you? Uh, yeah, I was just using it as a bit of practice, really. So I wanted to be in every sprint, but not really uh, empty myself at all. So I was just trying to have a little bit of a practice of position ahead of this afternoon's races. Now, I know there's, there's quite a few rainbow stripes wandering around here. What does it feel like to race the national championships wearing the, the best in the world? Uh, pretty good, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't really, I don't necessarily feel the pressure that I think I'm expected to feel. Um, just because of the girls that I'm up against, I think um, I fully expect that a lot of them are going to win world championships at some point in their careers. Um, so I don't really feel any shame in being beaten by them. So I don't feel like it carries any kind of extra weight on it. It's just a massive privilege to be able to wear it. I did. We were just talking then about uh, your record in World Cups, you medaled or podiumed in every World Cup that you've ridden. Is that is that uh, is that correct? And how long a period is that over? Uh, yeah, so I've medalled in every endurance event at World Cup and I've medalled in every World Cup that I've been to since um, 2012. So I've done 14 World Cups since then uh, in the last five years. Six years? Six years. <laughs> um, yeah, which I didn't actually realise until someone pointed out the other day. Um, so it's quite nice that someone else is keeping count for me. Um, we're a few years out from the Olympics and all that sort of stuff, but the Commonwealth Games, big goal or not yeah yeah really big goal that's um it's the only title that i haven't won um so i'd quite like to add it to my collection really um, and riding for wales and well. riding, riding for wales country, yeah you don't get a lot of chance to do. no it's, it's pretty much once every four years um i feel a lot of pride being able to ride for wales so i'm excited for that and, and what about is it is the track the be all and end all i mean you've had a great amount of success on the track uh no it's not at all um so i'll be racing i'm riding for wiggle wiggle high five this year uh, so I'll be racing quite a bit on, on the road for them. I'll say quite a bit, quite a bit in between track seasons, which... Um, games don't finish until April. Yeah, so it's not a huge amount of time. So I'll be doing a couple of races before the Games, um, and then I'll be doing the road race at the Games, and then racing for them um, after that until about mid-August. So how does a young lady like yourself manage to keep um, fresh mentally and, and also physically when you're doing such such a lot of, a lot of racing? Um, I think mentally it's important to enjoy racing and training and traveling and the whole lifestyle of it because if you don't enjoy it and you're just waiting for the next thing that you're doing to end, um, it's not a very nice lifestyle. I think everybody's been through a period of their life where they feel like they're just waiting till the end of this camp or the end of this racing and then they can relax a bit. Whereas if you, if you really enjoy it and you can, I don't know, sort of take it day by day, whatever country or city you're in, um, I think it makes a diff big difference to how you deal with things mentally. Um, physically... Uh, I do find it quite difficult to try and transition between track and road. Um, so it's something that I'm still learning and still learning how the best way to do that is about myself. And on the track yourself, I mean, I know Laura's taken a sabbatical. I don't know whether much is going to come back or anything, but, but you and Katie, you seem to be uh, right up there dominating it for the, for the women, for the for British women. Uh, it's nice that you put me in that bracket, but I think it's just Katie dominating, to be honest. Um, I mean, I've had a... I've, I've had a good amount of success and I'm really happy with my career, but I definitely wouldn't say dominating. Um, I think Katie kind of wins that crown. Yeah, well, I see Katie's racing everything. At least you're picking and choosing, are you? Yeah, well, um, I didn't want to have too heavy a race programme this weekend because I was racing a World Cup last weekend uh, and that had a lot of travel in it and also a lot of racing. Um, I did three, well, three different events in two days, which was um, seven races in two days. So it's quite, quite big. So I wanted to be able to recover a little bit. Um, and also the bunch races are my favourite. I'm not a huge fan well, of the idea. Yeah. Because I know the team so everyone focuses on the team pursuit. But, but you're winning you're wearing a jersey from a bunch race. Um, and I know that you've, you've won lots of different types of bunch races, Madison is not sure. Um yeah, I love a bunch race. I quite like that they're they're always different and it's not quite so um, uh, comparable, I suppose. I mean because every everyone is different, so um, it just makes it quite quite interesting I think.